Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here at Rome Bearded. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. If you're not already a subscriber, think about hitting that little button for us. Uh, ring the bell so you don't miss a beat. And uh, yeah, you know the drill. So today we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Ram as a whole. So just a real quick overview about what we go, got going on over here. Get a lot of questions about, hey, you know, what's the bumper? What's the rack? What's the tires? What's the lift? You know, all the stuff. So I figured just a, a real quick overview to uh, break all that stuff down for you. Some of the components on here have been documented in detail. Uh, I'm gonna list those videos down below. As we add to that list of videos, I will go ahead and update this video as well. So um, for the time being, this will be a continuing growing um, list of stuff on this video itself. So definitely check out the description down below. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to shoot me a comment and let me know. Um, always willing to help out the community, you know, so here we go. The Ram. So the heart of this build is a 2014 Ram 1500. It's got the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 in it. It's got eight speed transmission, 392 gears. Um, to that, we added a four inch pro comp lift. We did opt to recently upgrade the rear springs to the Icon inch and a half variable springs. When we're fully loaded, hitting the road, the truck rides nice and level. So that was uh, pretty important to be able to get that and you know, it really adds to the stability also. And recently we just added the rear sway bar from Hellwig to uh, help with that uh, side to side. And you know, you get to going down some of these roads, you get a little, and uh, that really helped stabilize that. So currently everything is, is really firm and planted on the road and feels real good uh, at highway speeds and on the trails. So. Uh, it's been a great setup so far. So with the 392 gears this thing has in it uh, from the factory, I decided the 35s were gonna be a good size to go with, so we wouldn't have to re-gear anything. So we're running a uh, 35 by 12 and a half uh, by 18 uh, Pro Comp AT Sport, so all-terrain all -terrain tire. It's been a fantastic tire, it's got about uh, half tread remaining on it. So we're about 50% on those. And uh, it's been awesome. Um, I see them uh, lasting another 35,000 miles pretty easily. Uh, so we decided to go with the 18s over the 20s that this truck came with. I wanted a bigger sidewall uh, just for your, for your off-roading. Airing down, get a little more. Uh, a little more suspension out of your tires that way with a bigger sidewall. So that's why we shrunk it down to 18 inch. Uh, so then we went with the uh, Dixie Peck wheels. Uh, honestly, there wasn't a whole lot of options to choose from when it came to an 18 inch for this truck, but um, I settled on these and I think they look good and they overall functionality wise, it's been fantastic, so. So for just a little bit of uh, insurance on the trails, opted for the white knuckle off-road rock sliders. Super easy to install, they sandwich right up to the frame. Well built, has saved my rockers a time or two. So definitely well worth the investment there. So I knew we were gonna need a new bumper for the front end. Uh, the, the Ram Sport models have this massive fairing style bumper in the front. It actually doesn't have any recovery points in the front of it. Uh, it's got this big spoiler, hangs really far down. So I knew a bumper upgrade was definitely in the works. And after scouring around for a while and uh, chit-chatting with a, a fellow on Instagram, the Lone Overlander, he directed me towards what he's got on his uh, three-quarter ton truck is the Chassis Unlimited Octane winch bumper. So this thing is great. Uh, tucks up really well, doesn't take up a lot of space, definitely increases the, um, the approach angle significantly from the stock bumper and has recovery points. So that definitely was a, a massive upgrade and a game changer for this truck. So with a winch bumper, you need to have a winch installed, right? So I opted for the X20 series from Smitty Built. It's a 12, 12 and a half thousand pound winch and uh, synthetic line. 
Got a remote control to it, which is nice. Uh, can be hardwired also. We've got the control box underneath the hood over here. And uh, yeah, so far so good. So KC highlights is what uh, lights up our front bumper, get us down the trail in a dark situation. So we've got three pairs of KC pods uh, on the outside. We have a white spotlight kind of pointed toward the outside of the road. Uh, they're in the center. We've got a pair of floods, so it help light up the, the entire scene. And then we have a pair of ambers spotlights um, running down the center. So those are good for dusty and foggy situations. The ambers really help cut through that a little bit more than the whites do. All right, so finding the right combination of rack and tonneau cover was one of the next things that we had to figure out. So we went with the uh, KB Voodoo Max Modular Rack System. It's modular rack system for full-size vehicles, so this is actually made to fit any, any full-size vehicle. It uh, adjusts width-wise, which is great. So this is uh, a 10-inch tall rack. They make uh, different heights. Uh, I opted for the 10-inch tall. And then it also came separately with these uh, tonneau cover brackets, which adds a couple inches. So we're looking at about 12 inches um, off the bed rails for, for this rack system. Uh, the reason for that is I really wanted to try and keep the tent as streamlined below or streamlined with the cab as much as possible, but also allow for visibility out the rear view mirror. So, that's how uh, this little piece came about. And uh, it's been a fantastic rack. This is a, a steel version. They also make an aluminum version if you're worried about your, uh, your payload weight. So they make a lighter version. I just opted for the steel, thinking that, you know, I'm not gonna worry too much about payload. It's a pretty heavy duty truck, so. Uh, to pair with this rack, we, they have some options uh, listed on their website as far as which tonneau covers work well with their tonneau cover brackets. So I opted for the Retrax 1MX, I believe is the model number for this one. Uh, it's a retractable, hard-topped tonneau cover. And the great thing about this is it has a lock built into it. So it slides really easy. It rolls really easy all the way back. And then everything can lock up into place. So with the tailgate locked and this locked up, everything is, all your stuff in the back is, is really secure. Of course, the retractable tonneau cover comes with a small disadvantage in that you lose roughly 11 inches of bed space due to the box where the, uh, where the cover rolls into. There is space underneath that box, and that's where I store like firewood and stuff that you just don't need to get to until you're pretty much unloaded at camp anyway. So it tucks up underneath there fairly nice. So you don't lose all of that bed space, but you do lose, lose a bit of it. However, a flip style tonneau cover would not work with this rack system. So that's why I opted to um, lose a little bit of cargo space just so that we could actually access the entire bed. Well, now you got a rack, you got to mount some stuff to it, right? So we opted for the Rhino Rack Batwing Compact uh, 270 degree awning. That's a mouthful, isn't it? So it's a 270 degree awning, uh, covers up this driver's side as well as over the tailgate. So it's real nice that uh, you get a little little shelter either off the side of the truck or on the on the gate while you're um, while you're cooking up some meal or something. So yeah, then on this side we have our Fiskar um, we have our Fiskar axe and a cheap little Home Depot shovel mounted up over here. And uh, the, there's functionality in the way that things were mounted to this rack. For instance, having these mounted on the driver's side allows access to the handle to the tonneau cover to come all the way back and forth. So there's actually functionality involved in planning on where everything was mounted. So that's why these are on the driver's side. So over here on the passenger side, we have our Max Tracks mounted up on the outside. Um, Max Modular does make a bracket system. It fits right to their rack and uh, you can mount your recovery boards to their rack and it's universal for either side, so. Mounted up to the inside of the rack on the passenger side is our high lift jack. 
uh, also another bracket that Max Modular sells for the rack system is the high lift jack mounting bracket. Fits real nice on the inside, that way it's just tucked up out of the way and uh, yeah, rattles like a son of a bitch. So I just did a small quick fist to mount this element fire extinguisher to the inside of this bracket. So it's kind of a hollow point in there, uh, very well protected from the elements and uh, easy access in case we ever did need it. And heaven forbid, we never do need it. And then of course, on top of the rack, we have our iCamper X cover rooftop tent. Uh, we picked this up on pre-order back when it was uh, first going up for sale. I think that was January of 2019 that we placed that order. Uh, it finally got delivered September of 2019. So we've been using it for a little over two years now and it's been just a fantastic rooftop tent. So if you're in the market for one, I do recommend uh, the iCamper brand. Um, definitely high quality and gets the job done. Well, there you have the walk around of our Overland built Ram. Do me a favor, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that button and uh, stay tuned as we continue to uh, show you some of the stuff we have going on here, along with some of the trips we got going on and who knows, some other random shenanigans. You, never, you just never know, just never know. But yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll catch you next time right here on Rome Bearded. This thing is great on, you know, everything. This thing, it's a great truck.